Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in long data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding friends request part one, overall acceptance rent, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past six months a couple of times. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called friend request with three different columns, right? Sender ID, send to ID and request date. There is no primary key for this table and it may contain duplicates. Okay. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request, ID of the user who received the request and the date of the request. Okay. We are also given a second table called request accepted with three different columns, requester ID, acceptor ID and accept date. Again, no primary key. So it can contain duplicates. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request, the ID of the user who received the request and the date when the request was accepted. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the overall acceptance rate of the request, which is number of acceptance divided by the number of requests. So acceptance is in this table, right? And requests is in this table, right? So number of acceptance divided by number of requests. Okay return the answer rounded to two decimal places okay now we need to note there are some notes which is very important to do this question and this is what makes this question in the easy category actually it is not easy but this thing that it mentions here is what it makes it easy so it says the accepted requests are not necessarily from the table friend request okay so basically here that in this table request accepted like it is possible that you know a request was accepted and the data is there in this table but it is not there right initially like if you think about it what is the logical way that there is a person there is a table which has information about who is sending the request and to whom on what date and then there is another table about who is accepting that request right and on what date so ideally it should have all the information from this but it says that it is not necessary that it will be having all that. In this case, count the total accepted request, no matter whether they are in the original request and divided by the number of requests to get the acceptance rate. So basically what in everything boils down to is that we need to count from this request accepted table, the number of unique requests that were accepted and then divided by the number of unique requests that were sent right and since it the question already mentions that like you don't need to care about whether you know the request accepted was in this or not so like we don't need to do the merge and join and try to match the information right had the question not said that then what your process would have been you need to first check whether the request accepted is in this friend request right and then you need to proceed further so that would might have made this question a medium difficulty one right so now once you have that it is also possible that a sender sends multiple requests to the same receiver and a requester could ex be ex a request could be accepted more than once in this case duplicated request or acceptance are only counted once so basically we need to count distinct from this and count distinct from this as well right if there are no requests at all, you should return 0.00 at the accept rate. So this is basically the alias of the output. So let's go through this example, right? So how many requests do you have here? Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Why I'm counting like this? Because there are these five are unique requests, right? So sender ID and send to ID, like it is not same in any of the rows, right? However, in the requested table, if you see, so these two are basically the same one, right? So this requester, this acceptor uh, ID four accepted the request from three on two different dates, right? So obviously the question says that all such duplicates should be counted as one. So how many were accepted in total? Unique acceptance one, two, three and four, right? So what is the acceptance rate? Four accepted divided by total request sent five right so four out of five is equal to 0 0.8 right so that should be the output okay so basically what we need to do is 
Firstly, count the distinct combinations of requester ID and acceptor ID from this, right? And then divide it by the distinct combination of sender ID and send to ID from this table, right? So let's start with it. So what I'm doing is from this table called request accepted, right? Let's return the distinct, right? So return distinct combinations of requester ID and acceptor ID, right? So requester ID and acceptor ID, right? Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So you have obviously this is the wrong answer because this is not yet complete. So what we are getting in the output. Yeah. So out of this, so distinct are only one, two, three and four. So like four, right? So we got that. Okay. So now what do we need to do? Basically, we need to count this, right? So how can we count this? You can just simply use or count the number of rows using count star, right? Since this is distinct. So if even if you do select count star of it, it is basically counting the number of distinct requests that were accepted, right? So if I do return count star, right? And then from this part, right? So from this thing so when we got the distinct combinations of requester id and acceptor id right so you got this now since this is a derived table so we need to add this as an alias so let's alias it as request accepted right so let me just you know run this to see what happens okay so count star four like so we have four requests that are accepted now you need to divide this number from by right the number of unique uh, friend requests that were sent right so you need to divide this by what again same stuff firstly you need to find out the distinct combinations of sender id and send to id so return distinct sender id and then send to id from the table called friend request right and then you need to count distinct from this right so you write from this right from this you need to return count star right so return count star from this and since this is again a derived call table right so we need to alias this so as let's say requests sent right okay okay so once we have this now let's format this so basically sql knows that okay what is like one number and what is another number so basically this entire thing right so this entire thing is one number right so number of request accepted and then this entire thing is another number right number of requests sent so basically you should put this entire thing in one parenthesis right so this is one parenthesis and the other another one request accepted part in another parenthesis right okay so once we have this then what we are basically doing we need to return right so return from this now this is a number right but it say the question says that we need to round it to two decimal places right so we need to do return and then round and then this entire number right whatever it comes out of this division then comma to two decimal places right and let's alias this since the final alias should be accept rate so let's write as accept rate this is still not yet complete right uh, because there is one thing this this part right return 0, 0.00 which is left but let let me run this let's see what we are getting okay even though this says accepted like if i submit it like it is going to fail the test case right so we have this now what happens right what happens like this number right so let's say there are no requests that are sent right so in this table there are no requests sent so this is entirely empty right so when you do select distinct obviously you are not you are going, going to get null when you count star of that you are going to get null right so if you divide a number by null you are going to get null right so in that case this is what the question says so if there are no requests at all 
you should return 0.00 as accept rate so how can we do this we need to employ the if null function right so we can write return if null right so if this entire thing after rounding to do decimal places comes out to be null then you need to basically replace it by 0.00 right okay now let me run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output now let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases okay so this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again yes this is easy question but not because this question in itself is easy but because this question mentions certain things which makes it easy however we could not do this if the question did not say this part then the first thing would be you know to make sure that you get the distinct uh, combinations of requester id and acceptor id and make sure that it is in the friend request part right and then only consider those in you know getting the numbers of request accepted and request sent right and then make the division and you know round to two decimal places and make sure that if it comes out to be null then you replace it by 0.00 so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.